Not to mention cinema and so on. I mean, it's a, but don't lose hope. Not only there, but let me tell you something to conclude. It's yeah. wonderful. You know, even if I die, I will go there. I almost naively cried when friends told me. I have a couple of friends, a German, a Scandinavian, Swedish guy, who have some kind of a English language theater of all the places in Kabul, Afghanistan. Nobody likes them, neither the Americans nor the Taliban, but they get some money from the European Union, and they told me incredible news, that in a country where nothing functions, total corruption, danger, there is among the young generation such an intellectual thirst. You probably don't know the name Göran Terboren, a Swedish old Marxist. They invited him to Kabul. They thought, you know, 20, 30 jerks will come. At his first talk, 700 people came. Rumor spread, at his last, at his last talk, 2,000 people come. And people who wanted to debate Frankfurt School, Adorno, and so on. It's a, and in the other city, close that Bamiyan, you know, where Taliban bombed those statues. It's a city totally encircled by Taliban. So you have to fly there if you want to survive. But he also went there. In this small city, 800 people came, young people. I mean, I have faith in this. I think there are intellectual miracles which are awaiting we, us. We should, the, we should end on that.